Hi there, you did read the title correctly. We're testing reviews of a car park. Welcome to Rupert Street Car Park. Why did I shout? Welcome to Rupert Street Car Park in Bristol. According to online reviews, it's disgustingly expensive. There's glass everywhere and it smells of piss. Reading the reviews, it does sound like a proper shit show, but maybe the car park operators, NCP, have seen the concerns raised and sorted them all out. If so, we'll be having a very pleasant car park experience and I'll be happy to leave a nice review at the end of the video. Let me tell you about Rupert Street Car Park. It's situated right in the middle of car-hating Bristol, which seems odd at first, but the car park was built in the late 1950s when cars were all the rage and it was perfectly acceptable to drive into a city centre. During this time, England was in a bit of a post-war building frenzy, mainly to replace all of the stuff that had been sort of bombed a bit during that small disagreement. Of course, with war comes technological advances, including the development of new building materials that were perfect for use as a cheap and quick way to construct buildings, and so began the rise of the concrete brutalist structure. Using this wonderful new stuff called concrete, all sorts of shapes and designs could be made, leading to some beautiful structures such as this and this, and of course, our car park on Rupert Street. The car park was the first of its time to be built in the UK using a design we nicked from America. It features one continuous ramp that runs up from the ground in a spiral shape with the lift and stairs access placed in the centre, and if you were to straighten out the car park ramp, it would run for half a mile. Half a mile, really? Well, we're gonna find out. I'm gonna reset my trip computer and then drive to the top of the car park and see how long it is. Reset. Okay, I've run out of car park to drive along and I make it 0.4 miles, but if we allow for a bit of error either way, then it's very plausible that it could be half a mile long. And yes, I do have sex club blue lights in my car. It's a very space efficient design and more importantly, a cost effective one because there's no need to build any internal connecting ramps or roadways. It's just one long length of concrete. There's space for 550 cars and once upon a time, it featured a car service garage built into it. This would later become a car hire place and today it's abandoned. At the time, the design was fresh, modern, chic and stylish but today it's none of those things and I'm sure Bristol can't wait to get rid of it. Something they're currently trying to do with the plan of demolishing it and replacing it with student accommodation. But surprisingly, a charity has been set up to fight against such a move because they think the car park should remain. Maybe we should take a look at some of those reviews. Perhaps it'll help us make up our mind as to whether they should keep the car park or get rid of it. Starting with Jonathan. And Jonathan says that there's smashed glass everywhere as a result of cars being broken into. One star. Well, Jonathan, good name by the way. I've been walking around for ages and I can't find any smashed glass or cars that have been broken into. It is Monday afternoon though, so maybe things change on a Friday, Saturday night. On the topic of crime, Rachel says that the car park is unsafe and that she couldn't access the pay machines due to violet vandals inside. One star. What's a violet vandal? Okay, Rachel, I found the pay machines and there are no violet vandals from what I can see, but to be fair, I don't really know what I'm looking for. Ellie says it's daylight robbery with their prices and evening robbery. Bugger, that's both types of robbery. Not ideal at all. Wait, what? 26.95 for 24 hours? Well then, Ellie, I guess you are correct, because technically 24 hours would mean daylight and evening robbery, both types. Back to more normal hours. One hour is 3.95, which is still a bloody rip-off, but you're right in the middle of Bristol. What can you expect? Anyway, who wants to be here? No one. Francois leaves a one-star review because the lifts are out of order. What are you talking about, Francois? The lift works just fine. Just a little side note, something that's come up on the online reviews quite often is a rather distinct odour throughout the car park. I'm not smelling it, if I'm honest. Maybe they've cleaned it up a bit, I don't know. It's not much of a looker, it's fair to say, but it doesn't smell that bad. It's certainly not the worst. And lastly, Tom leaves a review saying that the car parking spaces are weird shapes. To be fair, he does leave a three-star review, but I'm curious to find out what a weird car parking space looks like. I've been trying to work out what Tom meant about weird shaped car spaces. I can't really work it out. To me, it looks like they're just the shape of the building, but have a look, see what you think. I don't know, Tom, I'm not sure your review is justified. The car park spaces are just the shape of the building, really. It kind of all looks a bit normal to me. Okay, well, we've assessed the data, we've investigated the claims, so I think we're now able to leave a review of our own, so here goes. I tested previous reviews, here are my findings. There was no broken glass or smashed vehicles. I didn't feel unsafe and I found not a single violet vandal. The aroma of urine was faint, I'd say more of a musk. Prices are expensive. All of the lifts were working perfectly, so maybe it's worth the cost. Parking spaces are parking space shape. All in all, a reasonably pleasant car park experience. Four stars. 
So there we are. It turns out that the NCP car park on Rupert Street in Bristol is not quite the crime-ridden pisshole that the reviews would have you believe, or at least it certainly wasn't on my visit. It is a bit expensive though. Thanks for watching.